Hey, podcast time! Welcome, welcome, one and all, to another episode of Fridays with Vinny. It's another Friday, motherfucking Friday! I uh, hope you all are doing fabulous. Hope you all are feeling good. Uh yeah, I took a week off. What do you know? <laughs> I wasn't really planning on it, but um, you know what? I've I've started getting better here recently about listening to myself. And last weekend, I was just burnt out. And I was like, you know what I want to do this weekend? I want to take it easy. And I, did, I didn't I did really because, like, I went and, like, put up, uh, like, on, sat- on, um, on, on Saturday, I, uh, helped, I helped my dad put on some trim on windows. But I would have done that anyway. So, really, the difference was that instead of working, you know, six hours on the weekend and then uh, and then trying to get all this music stuff done, I just didn't worry about it. And instead, I played uh, Link Between Worlds. Um, this is my first time playing it, but it's the first time playing it. I've, I'm about I'm over halfway through the game. Um, I've got three temples left uh, and then whatever final dungeon there is, uh, presumably. Um, so yeah, it's a really good game. If you haven't played it before, I definitely recommend it. But yeah, that's what I did a lot of that last weekend. And when I say I, I played it, I mean I played it for like, you know, three hours in the evenings during, you know, the three weekend days and a little bit during the week, but not very much. Uh, because I don't play video games like that anymore, unless it's on stream. That's the thing, when you do content, everything you do, you feel like you should be doing for content. You're just like, oh, I'm taking a trip. I should really take some pictures for Instagram. Oh, I'm doing this. I should really take a video of it. Oh, I'm playing this game. I should just stream it on Twitch so I have content. So it was nice to take a step away from that and just just, just focus on me time. Uh, especially since this weekend, uh, Jenna has taken off. I am now wifeless. So, uh, ladies, just saying. <laughs> I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> Uh, no, she went to go visit her sitter, sister, not sitter. My wife does not have a babysitter, as uh, nice as that be. <laughs> Maybe that's what I am, right? Uh, we just babysit each other. Like, Jenna, I'm feeling childish today. Can you babysit me while I shirk off all my responsibilities? That's what I need. Someone to uh, make sure I don't mess anything up too much while I'm being irresponsible. You know, just in those, just in those times. <laughs> I just, I call a babysitter. She comes over. Uh, so where's your kid? And I'm like, um, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, yeah, but she went to go visit her sister in North Carolina. Uh, hopefully that's not giving away too much on a public place. But it's just North Carolina. It could be anyone. There's like 80,000 people in that state. Including at one point, a friend of mine. That is, I think. Didn't he live there? Shucks, I should ask him. I don't remember. Maybe it might have been in South Carolina. Is it even North Carolina? She's going to, I don't even know where my own wife is going to. Was it North Carolina or South Carolina? I'm going to ask her real quick. Oh, wait. She's on the plane right now, probably. Oh, no, well, no, she's probably about to land. Yeah, she's probably about to land from that first flight. So I'll text her. I was going to call her, and you guys could have heard her on the podcast. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to text her real quick. Um, uh, is it North Carolina or South Carolina? Okay. <laughs> See if she knows what NC and SC mean in this context. <laughs> she will have no idea what I'm talking about, probably. Anyway, yes, this weekend I'm all alone. I'm all alone for this week, which uh, the funny thing is my wife was saying because I was just like <laughs> yesterday I got home and she was just instantly like well, she's never like this. She's just like, you want coffee? I'm, I'm, I was making some for me. I'll make some for you. It's like, oh, I thought maybe you were like trying to make sure I missed you while you were gone. It's like, what are you saying? You won't miss me? And I was like, well, 90% of my week is going to be exactly the same. You know, I'm, I'm sleeping for eight hours each night, you know. I'm working 40 hours, and the only the only difference is going to be, like, the three hours I'm at home during the week each day, and I'm conscious, and the uh, and this weekend, which, honestly, I got plenty of stuff to do. There's plenty of stuff to do <laughs> between getting this EP album finished up, and honestly, guys, I know I said I was going to get it by Christmas. 
I, I think I'm going to release a single on Christmas instead and take a little extra time getting this album perfect. Um, again, I've, I haven't, I haven't officially announced anything anyway, so it's not that big a deal. That's the thing about being DIY. You can do whatever the heck you want. Um, and I'm thinking about seeing if Joe will come over and help me finish up tracking tomorrow, and then we'll just work on uh, mixing the rest of the time. And I'm going to throw in a cover in the EP album, because um, there's an old song that I really like, and not a lot of people know about the song or the guy that wrote it. I won't spoil too much, because I, I don't know. I like withholding a little bit of information. <laughs> don't want to give everything away. Save yourself some uh, save yourself some content, Vinny. You're going to need it. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to try to get back to YouTube because it's been a long time. How long has it been since I uploaded? It hasn't been as well. I mean, I've uploaded this podcast and I've uploaded. I've uploaded. Um, Obviously, I've uploaded the music videos for the two singles. But before that, um. Before that, what would it have been? Gosh, I uh, I was going back and watching um old uh, old homeschooled nerd videos just a bit ago while I was folding laundry upstairs, and I like I watched through like YouTubers Life, uh, the Adventures in Odyssey one, the Chick Tracks video, and I was just like, gosh, these were okay. Six months ago was the home studio tour, and that was the last like real video I made aside from the Hell Taker, which was a good video. Just saying, just saying. Um, yeah, that was April 20th, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's been six months, good times. I'm, I'm sad that Joe and I haven't done any more, uh, game, gaming videos on the channel, but I'm thinking about, oh my gosh, I've talked about this before, I thought about moving, um, gaming stuff to my old gaming channel, because I have two, over 200 subscribers on there now, which, for, for context, I have 92 subscribers on the Vinnie Harnett channel, the artist channel where i upload vlogs as well as the podcast um which i don't i don't know if um i don't know i don't know if i'll keep doing the podcast on here I, it works it works it's really handy having it here it's a great place to host it and it's consistent content but it just feels to go on it, you go on the home thing and it's just it's just the uploads are all podcast and then a few music videos here and there although i did a couple quickies uh, maybe i sh maybe i shouldn't be so hard on myself why do I do this to myself? Can someone can someone explain this? <laughs> Why do I feel the need to be perfect? No one cares what you upload onto YouTube. You can do whatever the hell you want, Vinny. Just be. All right, Janty got back. North Carolina. Okay. There is no Starbucks near her, so I'm just gonna wait till I get some more free water. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, call Jana. I'm gonna call her on on, on voice call. And then you always can hear her. Hey, Remy. Hey, Bill. Did you get, get to your... Hi, baby. Oh, oh no. Is he upset? Um, well, he... I answered the phone. And oh. he started yelling he's at me. He's mad about it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he's mad about me answering the phone. Oh. So there's no Starbucks <laughs> at all? Or you just not one nearby? Not one nearby. Oh. And um, walking six minutes mm -hmm. here from the other terminal... Was exhausting. Was breakfast enough so, for, for you at least? Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Although this next flight is apparently three hours long. Uh, <laughs> but I'll get cookies and maybe if I ask nicely, they'll give me extra water. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> you gonna get anything for Silas? Um, I might request drink for Silas. Okay. Well, I just didn't know if. Breakfast was enough for him because we he didn't eat very much of that sandwich, but I he guess he's got very milk, much so. of that. But um, boarding is in probably thirty minutes, so I would have to rush really really fast. If I could leave my luggage here, but I don't really want to figure that out. Is he okay on the flight? Yeah. He kind of threw a fit at first because he was tired and wanted to lay down mm -hmm. and there was no room to lay down on my lap and eventually he gave up and fell asleep oh poor guy it was pretty early on though i That's think good. he exhausted himself by throwing such a big fit yeah he did get up early too so maybe he'll be yes. in a better mood on the second flight i don't know probably if it's such a long flight he may yeah. end up needing to take a nap towards the end so i hope i can get out to access his dragon because that was helpful yeah. in propping his head up yeah 
I'm recording the podcast right now, so uh, I'm gonna get back to that. But uh, I okay. guess let me know when you uh, when you've made it there. I'll let you know. Okay. Might even take a picture. Cool. <laughs> I love you. I'll love see you, you later. Too. Bye. All right, that was Jenna, everybody. Jenna and Silas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. So yeah, there you go. It's North Carolina. It was North Carolina all along. <laughs> Anyway, yes, I have a lot to do, and I want to get YouTube videos going again because I miss doing that. But I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I was it was going through my brain this weekend. I was just like, oh, I could do I could do let's play videos instead of streams. And I was like, but I like those streams. But no one, if no one's coming to watch it, maybe it's better I do let's plays, or maybe I should do let's plays on stream. And if people show up, then I can talk with the chat. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Why do I want to do so much? Why can't I just do one thing and that be it? <laughs> My goddamn ADHD brain. It, don't, it wants to do everything. Anyway, enough complaining about me. Uh, how have you guys week been? I am honest. I got three weeks to catch up on because last episode was kind of just a uh, um, brain dead. And I forgot all the things I want to talk about. And now we've had another two weeks since then and that week. So it's really three weeks of content. Uh, but not that much have happened. I got one thing I do want to mention. <laughs> I was at the corner of, um, it was like where a lot of hospitals are. Cause he was like, it's that area of town. Cause I was going to a job on the rich side of town and the rich people all buy the hospitals because, uh, cause they got to make their money at the hospital. So they all get rich and then they put their houses there right next to the hospital. At least that's what I'm assuming. That's what it kind of seems like for some reason. Uh, I was doing this job for this guy, which honestly... I was an okay electrical job. It was a pain because I had to fish a bigger wire through because he was upsizing his AC unit for his massive fucking house. <laughs> Why are you too fucking big for that guy? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to judge. Would I buy a big house if I could afford it? Probably. And then I would hate it. I would hate having a big house. But you know what? It just ain't me. So I'm not going to judge you for having money. I'm just going to judge you for not helping other people out and being <laughs> stingy. That's when I'll judge you is for not paying your goddamn taxes. Um, <clears throat> but on the way there, I was going with Joe because I was just like, I can't pull this by myself. I'm going to have to get Joe. And on the way back, we were driving by and there's just all these guys with signs. It's like, what the hell are they doing? And I looked and it was just like, <laughs> all these guys were protesting the vaccine. It's like, you fucking hippies. <laughs> One of them had a sign. It was just like, thou shalt not jab me. First Freedom 314. It's just like, or 316, I think it was. It was just like, okay, dude, I know you're ripping off First John 316 with the Bible verse, but it just shows how how dumb, <laughs> how dumb these people are. They just like, they quote Exodus, and uh, and reference, and reference John. It's like not even in the right same part of the Bible. They were worshiping a whole different God back then. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> but it's just like. I wanted to just, on the way back, just yell out the window, Get a life, you dang hippies! <laughs> you know, something that would really piss them off. Because you can't just sell, Hey, fuck you! Because then they'd be like, No, fuck you! Or they'd be like, Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Whereas if I just like, Oh, get a life, you hippies. It's like, what are they going to come back with? I'm not a hippie, you're a hippie, no! Because, you know, all those fuckers hate, <laughs> hate hippies. <laughs> um, I'll be honest. Hippie medicine, the worst. The worst. I hate how many people think just because a pot... <laughs> it's about like Native American medicine. Like echinacea. I finally looked up on a, on a reputable website. I definitely recommend this for everybody. Um, it's called uh, Science-Based Medicine. Because I'll be honest. Just because someone has a medical degree does not mean to know what the fuck they're talking about. I am okay with saying that. Now a scientist, on the other hand, they spend their lives looking at this stuff. So at least they're a little more credible. Doesn't mean they're always right. But at least they kind of know what they're talking about most of the time. And you can kind of, you can, once you've listened to enough scientists and you, they, you see how, what, how well they can back up their claims, it makes these medical guys, you can just tell like when they don't know what they're talking about. Because so many of them just learn the stuff. They hear about something and they don't fucking question it. That's why we have like, doc, we, that's why we have naturopaths. These fuckers are just... <laughs> I have natural medicine. No, you fucking don't. <laughs> you got a bunch of bullshit that you peddle to make a bunch of money off of rich people that are just like, I think I'm going to spend my money on the natural remedies. 
It's like, yeah, good on you, man. Good on you. You know what? You know what ticks me off? Yeah, now what ticks me off is because I fucking knew it. It's just like people keep being like, oh, you just you just don't like your mom. That's why you don't think echinacea works. It's like, it doesn't work on me. It doesn't do anything. You know what does stuff? Getting sleep, drinking water, making sure I'm eating healthy. That's what makes me get over colds faster. Not this bullshit fucking... <laughs> not making a tea out of some random plant and we're like, oh, drink this. It'll make your cold last a day a lot less time. Then it lasts another week and they're like, well, that's one less day than it would have been. And like, no, that isn't. Oh, my God. I think my thing stopped working. Just a sec. All right. There we go. I don't know why my recording thing messes up. It's annoying. It's annoying. Adobe Audition, fucking do better. What the hell? I probably need to update it because it doesn't update automatically. You got to go in and do it. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to get pissy about this, guys. But it's just like I knew it. And then I look it up, and what do you know? None of these studies actually show anything when you actually test them against a placebo, which I kind of figure it wouldn't be, and I know maybe that's a bias, and I'm sure it is. And I'm sorry that that confirmation bias still exists, but honestly, there aren't... I there. Okay, here's the deal. They reference studies. You look into the studies, and they're garbage, and it's just like, yeah, this study's garbage. And it's like, yeah, but it's not going to hurt you to take it. So just if it helps you. It's like, yeah, that's what a placebo is. That's how it works. It's not that it actually does anything. It's that you report it differently because you think you feel differently when you don't because of how you think. It's a reporting bias. That's how it works. That's how it works. And it frustrates It frustrates me to know stuff. You know what's funny? <laughs> I would have never, when I was a kid, thought this would have happened. But I got into an argument with uh, Sega Night Kevin on Twitter. It wasn't a very detailed one because I'm not a very good arguer. <laughs> and, of course, I've always admired Kevin because I think he's such a, so so good at um, thinking outside the box. And he doesn't, just, uh, he doesn't just take something and not question it most of the time. Although, <laughs> the funny thing is, it's just like um, I remember him referencing... Uh, Referencing uh, people getting upset at him for asking if uh, if maybe um, the story of Samson was just like a myth in the Bible. Like it was just a story. If it was like a play or something. Which is what Job probably is. You know. Because it's kind of set up like that. Because it's the only actual story in the Bible. And it's like got all these, you know, cinematic kind of stuff to it. Um, and that would make sense for Samson too. Because the story of Samson is absolutely ridiculous. Because he like he fights against all these archers with a jawbone. It's like, what do you do? Just fucking spin it like uh, like Thor. And he's just like spinning around, knocking all the arrows out of the way. Uh, and but but people just get upset over that. And he was just like, well, I mean, I'm okay with uh, you know with accepting it. I just you know want to understand why people think that it's actual history. And it's like, yeah, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> the funny thing is, Kevin's probably why I'm a free thinker now. Uh, but now that I'm a free thinker, we disagree on stuff. But we were just arguing about the JonTron thing, which I don't even give a fuck about. I mean, I do because it's a shitty thing he said, and it's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? But uh, it was just like, <laughs> I just, I just reference him like somebody doesn't know what a false equivalency is because what the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck does animal testing have to do <laughs> with whether or not science works? Oh my god! Uh, but um. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I bet he does because uh, he gets them redirected him. Which you know what? It was a uh, it was a salty comeback to my salty attack, but it wasn't even directed at him, so it was kind of weird. But uh, then I just, you know what? Here's what I do. I always I don't accept what people say say, but I don't like straight up deny it either. I always give when I disagree with somebody, I always give them like a hard maybe. Like, maybe, but, and then, uh, you know, the ex to, me, to, to, to in that case, I just like, maybe, but, you know, I don't really, I don't really figure uh, that I need to be defending a guy who, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't need to be defending Mr. Uh, John Ethnostate Tron. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't need to be defending him when he, like, references this thing which is a horrible thing he was you know reference yes animal animal testing is animal cruelty is fucked up and it needs to end uh thank you john for bringing that up uh you want to fucking do something about it <laughs> instead of <laughs> or you just not want to take the shot it pisses me off but um it, it, that's the thing is just like 
this conversation we were having, obviously not, I don't expect either of us to concede, but it felt like, it felt like we were having two different <laughs> conversations for some reason. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but it's just like, uh, it's just like, what? It's like, wh yeah, Dr. Fauci is one person. Why are you trying to poison the well? It's easy to attack one person. It's easy, especially when they're in a in a position like that, because I'm sure you you can't get to that kind of position without being a little bit corrupt. Uh, I'm sure he's not the worst person in that, you know, to ever be in that position. I'm sure. I mean, you know, there were guys in his position under Reagan. Those guys were probably fucking assholes. Although there was one guy, I think, that might have been in a similar position to that, which uh, he actually um, was. Uh, he was working for um, actual education about aids and how hey it's you 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 can't you can uh, you can there are ways to prevent you from getting it you know it's not just a gay disease it's just oh my god yeah and that's that's constantly that's constant that's what pisses me off about this because it's just like pseudoscience kills you know when i hear these stories and you see them and now they're all the time where it's just like these people didn't have to die these kids didn't have to die but all these people who are just obsessed with this pseudoscience medicine and whatever took it to an extreme and now the kid's fucking dead and it's your fucking negligence and I get it you don't have to listen to doctors all the time I think you should probably most of the time but uh, it's very easy to look up from reputable sources like I mentioned science-based medicine is a great source you can search what you're wondering about and they have several articles that explore everything. They have links to their to their their studies and the references and everything. And the studies are actually they make they go through how it was done to make sure it's you know. So if you want to go into detail and understand it, uh, but bottom line is they know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, I believe that's uh, Stephen Novella that he runs that. Uh, he's from the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe. Uh, great podcast. I've recommended it on here before. Um, point being, freaking. Uh, Freaking get your goddamn vaccine and stop being such a little bitch and and uh, yeah and uh, animal testing but not through PETA because those guys advocate kill shelters so uh, fuck those guys uh, we need new a uh, new uh, people advocating I guess we have the Humane Society Humane Society still exists so uh, shout out to the Humane Society for not killing the dogs in their shelters uh, shout out to dogs for being awesome um, and uh, shout out to the medical society for testing. These goddamn medicines that we use on rich people. <laughs> because that's who they're really for. Uh, in order to, uh, in order, in testing on animals and killing the animals just to make sure, oh, I guess this wasn't safe. It's like, yeah, no shit. Was there not anywhere else you could test that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What? Uh, is there no. Oh my gosh. This just. That's the thing. Science is advanced enough where we don't need animal testing anymore. I'm sure of it. You could maybe argue against. I don't. I don't fucking know. All I know is it's absolute garbage. You know what? It's it's the same as like. Um. It's not. Oh my god. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not the same. What, what I mean is that it reminds me in a way of like you know how people are like, oh, we can uh, test these medicines on uh, African Americans. Uh, they're just slaves anyway. We own them. It's like wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the same. Uh, point being. It's um, it's frustrating to see people defending animal testing when it is obviously so fucking cruel. It is terrible. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am going off today. Oh, good news. Any good news, Vinny? Yes, I have my fucking curtains up finally in my studio. I got these these blackout curtains, which are they're they're this, they're gray color, which is what we've been doing on all our blinds in the house, and the neutral works so well in this room. I can't believe it. I didn't expect it to work so well, but um, we got one of those rods that just tightens. You know, you twist it and it tightens, so you don't have to put any screws in the wall, and it, it works really good. And I think I might just keep using that once I get the trim up around the window, because it's working great now and it looks great. And I think it'll look great once we have the trim up. And uh, yeah, I got my one of my doors in. I got the main door in. Now I just gotta finish my closet doors, put those in. I think I might try to do that this weekend. Um, and yeah, and then uh, trim time. It's it's starting to come along again. I've I haven't worked on it really all summer, so it's nice to have it almost done. And uh, yeah, I think um, I think I want to do a house tour video at some point, 
but it's hard to get a time where I can like go around the whole house. I could do it this weekend, but um, I want to finish up the rest of the house. And uh, yeah, I don't know. The studio's looking great. It's feeling great. It's got me motivated to get stuff done. I want to do more YouTube stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm a lazy boy. I'm a lazy boy, and I just don't know what to do. Um, uh, you know the other thing that was upsetting me. <laughs> this is such a little like uh, a little peeve, but like I was um going through the quickies that I edited. And so many of them, which I thought were hilarious, are like the only videos I've done all year that have gotten any dislikes. And they don't have that many views, which means <laughs> some of the regulars that watch my videos were just like, oh, I don't like this and disliked it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it hurts. Why does it hurt? It's not supposed to hurt this bad. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Vinny. It's like, I know that, but, uh, it, uh, I, I don't know why, um, I don't know why it bugs me so much. That it's just like, oh no, they don't, they don't like my videos that I did in like, <laughs> some of these took a while. Like the, um, the Cat America does a stinky. That one took longer, way longer than it should have. Um, and yeah, it's just. Just like, I worked hard on this. Why don't people like it? It's like, I don't know, Vinny. Maybe because... Maybe because you have offensive humor. I mean, not like offensive offensive, but like dumb humor. Like a little kid humor. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, But you know me. You know how I go. I just... uh Goof off and make all kinds of... Make all kinds of weird... uh. Weird things. Oh, lordy mama. Lordy, lordy mama. All right. Anyway, is there anything else? Or is it time to get on to uh, recommendations? Recommendations. Recommendations. When you don't know what to watch, you don't know what to watch. You're going to need a recommendation. Friends. The time has come for me to recommend some things. Uh, I, I, I would just like to mention, um, I have, I have, I did, as I said last podcast that I recorded, I did end up watching a movie, That's another scary movie, but I don't know if I should recommend it because it was Halloween from the, the one from 1974, 1976. Anyway, it's from the 70s. Uh, not scary. <laughs> I'm sure it would have scared me as a kid, but as an adult, I'm just like, <laughs> it's it's just a fun time. I don't know. I I assume that it would maybe would have been more scary because all these tropes were obviously kind of created with this film and others around the same time. So you know we're used to them now. So now they're just like, well, this is goofy. But um, I'm sure back then it was like taken more serious. But just like every time. <laughs> Like in the beginning when Michael Myers murders his sister. Spoilers. Um and she's just like, ah, ah, ah. He's just like, Michael, what are you what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Michael, your knife is growing inside of me. <laughs> uh yeah, it's uh it's it's not and and then <laughs> the uh the lady, Jamie Lee Curtis, whoever she plays, uh she uh stabs him. And she's just like, oh, she's relieved. Oh, my gosh. I just stabbed a guy. I just killed him. And then he just pops right up. <laughs> pops up in the background. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is this? She kills him three times. And he's like, he's back up again. And then uh, a guy comes in, the doctor, and shoots him a whole bunch of times. He falls out the window. <laughs> and uh, this lady who's clearly in distress. It's just like, that can't have been a man. <laughs> and instead of being like, it's okay, it's okay. You're going to be all right. I, we, you're safe now. You know, instead of comforting, he's just, he's just got to do a one-liner. I'm afraid it was. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> La, gentlemen, please. If you see a lady who just barely survived a murderer, who just killed <laughs> three of her friends. Uh, no. This is not the time for a one-liner. And then he looks out and, just, and Michael's gone. It's just like... <laughs> 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 
what the fuck? It's like, what do you know? The killer's still alive. I'm sure back then people were like, oh my god, what a crazy ending for a movie. And, but uh, nowadays it's just like, what the fuck is this? That's um, why I like the original ending for like Friday the 13th better. I mean, it's still part of the ending. But like, you know, that's where it should have ended. Turned out it was this kid's mom, and she put on the mask and was murdering people. Oh, but now it turns out Jason's alive, and he oh, he's murdering people. Now that you killed his mom, and he doesn't like people fucking. It's just like, okay, 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 Freddy. All right, Freddy. Good on you, man. Good on you. Uh, freaking, uh, it's not Freddy, is it? Is it Freddy? I don't fucking know. Jason. Jason? Is it? Yeah, Jason. Freddy is the uh, Freddy Krueger, the guy with knife hands. Like, you can run, but you can't hide, bitch. Actually, that's freaking Morty. That's beside the point. Point is, what is the point, Vinny? The point is that it's recommendation time! Yay! That was not one of the recommendations. Neither of those films were recommended for this week. Don't fucking watch those movies. What the fuck is wrong with you? Actually, watch whatever the hell you want. I don't give a shit anymore. All right. What I do give a shit about is these week's recommendations. Uh, first off, I've mentioned it already, but Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, freaking get that game for your 3DS. If you don't have a 3DS, what are you doing? Get a 3DS and play some goddamn video games. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it's a great game. It's a good game, um, and I wish that they'd remake it for Nintendo Switch. So, dear Nintendo, Link Between Worlds HD, please. Um, if that comes out, I will pick up the Let's Play again, I promise. I will bring Joe over and be like, Joe, we had to play this game. We had to finish it. Um, we had to do it because uh, people on the last episode were like asking for more. And they were like, I'm a fan. I'm like, oh, man. We could have had two people watching. <laughs> Not near enough to succeed, but uh, still cool. I don't know. That's the thing. YouTube doesn't snowball as much as it used to. Because you got to have a big audience to make a go at it. Otherwise, nobody's discovering you fast enough and more people drop off. And next thing you know, you're back to one subscriber that watches. <laughs> and a bunch of old ones that are just like, what the hell am I subscribed to homeschool nerd for? What the shit, tits? Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway, what else, Vinny? What else? Um... Freaking uh, this this new book I picked up, which maybe you're not going to like, but it is written by... Okay, I know I recommend a lot of atheist things on this show, and I do apologize for that, but it's part of who I am, so I'm not going to apologize any more than that. But Bad Faith, Race, and the Rise of Religious... Uh, and the Rise of the Religious Right by Randall Balmer is a book. The audio book is about two hours long, so it's not a super long book. The guy who wrote it is a Christian... But he is basically arguing against the religious right and uh, saying that, hey, since these things are doing a messed up, uh, Trump is not your savior. What the hell are you doing? So, yeah, if you uh, if you are curious about the origins of the religious right, uh, that is a good book. Uh, you can get the audio book and listen to it there. It's like a little podcast, it's like a big podcast. Um, and it's not super expensive on Audible. I assume the book isn't that expensive either. Uh, Freaking check it out. It's a good read, and it'll get you kind of filled in on some of the stuff I talk about here uh, that I don't go into detail on because I'm not an expert. But this guy is an expert because he's been studying it for a long time. He's a he's a goddamn historian. So uh, check that out if you want. Um, and last but not least, we need our music recommendation. Uh, and Ninja Sex Party has released a new album. It is called uh, L L Level Up. It... um. I actually think I have my physical copy in the mailbox, so I should go get that once I'm done with the podcast, because I'm excited about it. Oh, another CD. I love collecting stuff. I don't know where that came from, but like, I love, I've loved collecting vinyl. I love connect, collecting CDs from like bands that I really love. Um, I want to get some Ben Folds vinyl, but they didn't make very many because they weren't that big when they did their first album. So it's just like, I want whatever and ever, amen, on vinyl. Get it. And I look it up. $200? I don't have $200. I barely have $2. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I feel good for not being on alcohol. I didn't drink much this week. I feel proud of myself, but also I know I'm not going to overdo it because I don't want people to think that I'm like, um, I'm like thinking that I, that I, that I don't have the risk of uh, being dependent on it. 
for now it's fun for now and i think the good thing is like i can't drink very much at all without being way too tipsy and i don't like being way too tipsy i just have like i like having a nice cocktail or a good beer i don't like these junk beers which you just like drink 20 of them in a day it's just like who wants that who wants the light buzz all day you alcoholic i just want it while i'm trying to wind down trying to stop my add brain from going crazy anyway what the hell am i talking about check those things out um any updates for me before I go? I haven't checked the email inbox for a bit. So I'm going to do that real quick. It's because otherwise I'm going to check it and be like, oh no, people emailed me. Uh, but while I'm loading this up, uh, I will say that uh, freaking um, if you want to email me and ask any questions, you could, well, to ask questions, you can either. Um, You can either, um, frick, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get this pulled up. You can either, uh, leave a comment on, in the description, I mean, in the comment section, um, of, uh, of the freaking YouTube videos that I upload these to. Oh my gosh, my brain just went dead. Um, yeah, or you can email me at contact at vinnyhard.com, um, Okay, I don't know if I'm allowed to, uh, um, I'm, I don't know if I'm allowed to, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to read this one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna reply to this email I got, and, uh, see if he'll let me read it, and I'll read it on next week's episode of the podcast, but, uh, that's, I'm not, that's it, guys, so if you got anything you want me to talk about, email me, contact at com is the email address, um, thank you all so much for listening, and for those of you who listen every week, it really means a lot to me. I hope you, I hope you enjoy this podcast. I hope that it's been improving. I feel like since episode twenty, I've kind of hit my stride, but I do stumble a lot when I do these kind of projects because, again, this is all improvised, and I don't always have that much. I, I don't feel good all the time. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> so uh, I do appreciate those of you who have sticked around. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next week. Have a happy Halloween. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. And I will see you all next Friday with another episode of Vinny. As well as later today, I'm doing the birthday stream because it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be streaming Kingdom Hearts starting at 2.30 today, Mountain Time, which is freaking, I don't know what it is. It, you can look on Twitch if you want to see like the schedule or the YouTube. It'll be streaming on YouTube as well. So there you go. Anyway, guys. As always, I love you, love yourselves, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.